So we have our scarf on today, which means we are trying new makeup and reviewing a few things. Uh, so thank you for joining me. I did go a little crazy with uh, buying some things for my birthday. <laughs> if you want to just take a look at the haul, I will link it above as well as in the description box. Um, today is really going to be a try on. So let's get into it. Let's see. I did pick up two foundations. I got the Laura Mercier Real Flawless uh, Weightless. Yep, Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I also got the Makeup Forever HD Hydro Glow Foundation. I already have a review that I'm editing. Definitely check that out on my channel. So today I am going to use the HD Hydro Glow uh, Foundation. I did pick up the shade 4N62 because... I already have and love 4N62 in the HD skin. The HD Hydro Glow is darker. So here's the original HD foundation. And as you can see, it's like a perfect match for me. There it is. And let's go in with the Hydro Glow. For it being just slightly darker, I think it still looks like a good match. It might actually be a bit more spot on than not a huge difference. We'll see how it oxidizes and actually looks after a couple of hours, but let's see, not bad at all. Not bad, I feel like the HD uh, the original HD skin foundation is just like a half shade lighter now that it's on my skin as opposed to the glow foundation which is it seems like an exact match okay so before we put on the foundation I actually want to test out two color correctors if you saw my um, MAC studio serum foundation review you will see that I tried out the um, Huda Beauty Faux Filter Corrector in Papaya. I absolutely love it. I actually don't use any other color corrector since purchasing this particular one, but I did pick up the uh, Faux Filter Corrector in the shade Lychee. So you have Lychee and you have Papaya. And I do want to see just like on uh, deep skin tones uh, what... Uh, the peach versus pink <laughs> uh, corrector and powders are gonna look like. They picked up the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Peach Pie. And if you have this powder, let me know. I feel like my top isn't like locked into place all the way. Like it's kind of, it makes me feel like it's gonna fall off. Can you hear it? So I don't know if your top is like that as well. Let me know. For the pink corrector and setting powder, I am going to use the one size uh, pink powder. I didn't want to get to Huda powders. That's just not necessary when I already have a really great pink powder that I love. And then of course, papaya and peach pie will go together. And I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Full Filter Co uh, Concealer in the shade Crumble. 7.1 n okay a little goes a long way with this corrector so using lychee for the first time i'm just going to use a little bit oh. and papaya and i picked up lychee because sometimes when i'm wearing a foundation that's not as full coverage, it's really hard to get the foundation to cover such a pigmented corrector like papaya. <laughs> it's much more subtle. It's so funny to me to see like uh, pink on my face like that. <laughs> A pink corrector on my face like this. Let's blend out papaya. I 
Okay, all done. So this is one pump. That's a lot that came out, so. And I was able to pick up all of the foundation from my palette, so. What do you guys think so far? My one reservation with this particular foundation is I tend to stay away from foundations that say that they're glowy and things like that because I have oily skin. I'm a bit drier right now in the winter. It's February. The weather's like 32 degrees on average these days. But... Do you see what I mean? Like I have the same amount on both sides, but when it comes to papaya, it just takes a little bit more to cover up papaya than it did with lychee. And I'm licking my lips a lot. One other product that I did get was the Summer Friday's Dream Lip Oil in the shade Rosewood Nights. So I'm actually gonna put that on right now before we try on some lipsticks that I purchased. It's a really beautiful color. There we are. It's definitely a lot more moisturizing than the Summer Fridays Lip Butter. It's really nice. That's this this foundation is really. I I don't even know of another word to. It's very skin like. This is just off the bat first impressions. Literally have not used it at all. Um, it is like a half shade too dark for right now but if I'm wearing a shirt like this it doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask you know it's not so much darker than my actual skin tone that it looks crazy um and of course it's winter so I don't have a lot of uh, a lot of sun but this is just from what it looks like in the mirror um I don't have my contacts in I still haven't bought my contacts um, so I can't see what I look like in the viewfinder, but this is not bad, not bad at all. And it's not as dewy. It's not as dewy as I thought it would be for a glow foundation. I think when it says glow, it just looks healthy in my opinion. My skin looks healthy. Um, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. Hmm. Okay. You guys, don't mind my eyebrows. I feel like looking at, at my eyebrows like in this little tiny mirror. I'm like, ugh. I'm really out here making videos with these like overgrown eyebrows. But if we're using the Huda Beauty corrector, might as well just go with the concealer. That is all done. Let's go in with powder i am going to use two just like triangle powder puffs oh by the way for the concealers i used uh the 57 brush from sephora the round concealer brush let's go ahead with the one size <laughs> powder i don't bake under my eyes um I don't like how that looks on me on top of the fact that I'm getting older. My skin is getting more mature. So I can't really handle it as much as <laughs> I used to. So I literally just set these days. There we are. Yeah, that might be too much. But clean puff. And we're gonna, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like peaches. Oh my gosh, there's definitely a difference. And I would love to know what you guys think. And I think with both of them, I'm gonna put just like a little bit more. I'm like, I'm actually like really obsessed with this powder, not even 
exclusively because of the color. This is a really, really nice powder. And pink. I normally would not apply this much powder under my eyes, but let's give it a whirl. Just right now, which one do you like better? Let me know. I did get the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I am going to do a super quick eye look with my Dior uh, Copper Essential Palette. Super, super quick. I'm probably just going to use the, that middle row here, all three of them. And I am not going to put powder on my face. I want to see, especially because this foundation is a uh, like a glowy foundation. I want to see how it holds up without setting it. So I will be right back. On my eyes, I used basically a ginger brown, mahogany, and satin bronze up top. So these three shades. And then I did put this matte shade up top on my brow bone used my Danessa Myricks uh, eyeliner and a mascara combo even though these aren't new I did want to just let you know the Victoria Beckham <laughs> future lash I really love this mascara to kind of comb through my lashes I can't wear this like on its own it doesn't do that much for me but it definitely like combs them separates them and then I go in with the YSL bottom lashes I finally got my Extended Play uh, Giga Black Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. I've been without it for like two months or so, and I miss putting it on my lower lash line. So my two favorite MAC liners are Chestnut. I'm gonna put that here. Chestnut and cork right i thought i lost cork so i bought it again so i'm gonna return it because i found it do you see like a trend here while i was um uh, in macy's i decided to pick up strip down i don't know why i just feel like for me as far as brown lip liners are concerned there aren't that many from MAC that I would purchase. So if you are around my skin tone and there are other brown lippies, like I can't use oak, stone, any of those. So here is stripped down. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. I mean, maybe, but that seems really light. Right? Like, I, I would almost use that as like a lip. I did pick up three of the new uh, MAC Maximal lipsticks. I am really excited about this new formula. I, I'm, I don't hate their matte, or I didn't hate their original matte formula. So here is the new, here's the new bullet versus the old bullet. I'm sure you've seen them like on TikTok and what have you. The new ones are bigger. This is Warm Teddy. Super excited. That's Warm Teddy right there. Of course, the red band along the side. And there's Viva Glam Equality right there. I am going to swatch side by side my MAC Whirl. This is the original. So that's my original Whirl right up there. And here's the new Maximal Whirl. <laughs> There's something to just a new MAC lipstick, that kind of almondy smell. So you have the original Whirl on top and the new Whirl formula on the bottom. So here's the original Whirl. No liner. And the new formula. 
on the bottom. Ah, can you tell the difference as far as how they feel? I don't know. I feel like the top one actually feels more moisturizing. At minimum, they're the exact same color. So at least the formula didn't mess with the color. I am going to start off with cork. And clearly, I need to sharpen my pencil. And we're going to go in with Warm Teddy on top of What do you guys think? That's really pretty. You know what, now that I can rub my lips together, I can see how it's matte and it feels really creamy. It does. It doesn't feel drying. I almost don't even wanna take it off to try, to try on equality. Okay, so my camera died on me for whatever reason because it's plugged in. It's not that hot in my room, so <laughs> we probably got like another five minutes. So I am going to apply chestnut quickly. Chestnut is on and now Viva Glam Equality. This is giving me um, 90s lip. Ooh, I'm gonna put Dangerous Curves on top. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, I have a very extensive <laughs> MAC uh, lip glass collection. These are just some of them. These are all of my neutral uh, lip glasses here, and I just feel like any of these would be good. So you have Bittersweet Me, which is darker. Actually, this might work better. Then we have Bow. If I wanted to lighten it up a little bit, we have spice, spice, spite, and then dangerous curve. So I think out of the two, I'm going to put uh, bittersweet me on top. And it's funny because all of those I've back to Mac and those are all pretty much brand new, but e even though you can see like I work through my lip glasses. Let me tell you, look at that. Just a little bit and that's it. We're done. I didn't do my eyebrows, but y'all wasn't here for eyebrows. <laughs> you guys weren't here for that anyway. <clears throat> so we are all done. What do you think of our foundation? The HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. And then also of course our pink versus peach color corrector and powder. I think they both look really good. I'm gonna take your advice on this. Let me know. Really, really pretty. And I'm gonna have to use my Victoria Beckham uh, new products in another video. They deserve their own spotlight. And with that, we are all done. Oh no, we have one more product. This is the Until Dawn setting spray. I should have put this on when I still have my scarf on. Let's see. Woo. <laughs> I'm scared. That smells really good. I'll admit the one good thing about putting on that spray is that it doesn't leave your face wet. So I feel like you can get up and just go. Oof. Let me turn down my lights so I can say goodbye. Okay, so I went ahead and turned down the lights. So hopefully you can see the foundation better, the powder, corrector, everything else. Let me know what you guys think down below. I miss you guys. I have so many videos that was already filmed, being edited, getting uploaded, all that good stuff. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 
I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.